Are you having trouble getting traffic to your website? Do you ever dream up interactive content ideas but find yourself overwhelmed by the technical challenges? Or maybe you just have a simple web app idea that you want to share with the world. If so, then this video is for you. By the end of this video, you'll know how to build custom interactive website widgets that will truly make your website stand out from the crowd. These calculators, converters, and interactive graphs are great ways to drive quality traffic and leads to your website. And as we all know, quality traffic is the first step of generating revenue revenue online. So here is the big picture of what we are going to get through today. First, we are going to brainstorm uh, with the AI using some prompts to help you get your mind wrapped around some great ideas for these website widgets. Then I'm going to show you how to use AI to create these widgets. Primarily, we're using Claude, but I'm going to show you a little few things we can do with ChatGPT as well. You can obviously use that tool if you only have access to that. I'm going to show you how to deploy it on Replit and then launch it onto WordPress. So you don't need to know any code to do this. You just need to know how to copy and paste. Once it's launched, there's a lot we can do with this. I'm going to get into some ideas for how you can share it with the world, SEO optimization, social sharing monetization and more and stay tuned at the end of the video I'm gonna show you a custom GPT that I've created that will walk through all these steps automatically so really it couldn't be easier so jumping right into the cheat sheet here I really went to town on this one I've had so much fun making these widgets this is an almost 20 page cheat sheet I'm just gonna start with this very first prompt basically saying I want to create an interactive website widget about a specific topic what are some potential purposes or goals that this could serve for my visitors right here inside of Claude. Awesome. It has created a bunch of great ideas here, but the one I'm most interested in is an Instagram follower forecasting tool. So let's see if we can build that. Here's the prompt we're going to use for that, which it says, hey, please take the following description and create code for a simple HTML web app using Replit on a WordPress website within an iframe. You don't really need to know what all of that means. This is just a really simple, clear way to tell the large language model what we're looking to do and how to build a very simple app that we can deploy very easily. So I'm dropping that in here with just a quick description of what I want to build and let's see what it does. There we go, it's starting to create the HTML. You don't need to know what any of that HTML means, we're just gonna be copying and pasting that. Oh, looks like we got a little bit of an error here. This happens from time to time, you just wanna let it know that there's an error and it will fix it. And there we go, we now have this Instagram follower growth tracker. This is the preview of it, and here's what the code looks like. This is great, but I want to make it even more impactful by helping people forecast what their Instagram growth might be. So I've iterated a little bit with the large language model to add that functionality. I've just gone back and forth saying, hey, let's uh, add some forecasting features to this. And it has come up with this code right here. Again, you don't need to worry about any of this, but I thought this is a pretty cool little app. So let me show you how this works. We're going to say on the 1st of January of this year, we had 80 followers and we're going to say today we have, let's say 300 followers. Look at that really pretty cool graph. Now let's forecast the next six months and it shows you where your growth might be over the next six months based on your current growth there. Pretty cool. Now I want to show you exactly how to drop this onto a WordPress website. There's one in-between tool we're going to need for that and that's Replit. Just go to replit.com, you create yourself a little login and I believe you should be able to do all of this for free. We're going to create a Replit. We're going to do an HTML Replit. Click create. Give it a better name here. It's doing a little work here, just setting everything up. Now all you got to do is grab this code down on this little copy contents, copy that and replace everything in this index HTML file. Paste it in, click run. We see it running here. Now all we have to do is click deploy. And I don't really know what many of these settings are. I just keep clicking deploy and it takes a minute here to build. It has built it here. You can check it at this URL. There it is, just on its own URL. Let's grab that because we want to copy and paste that into WordPress. So here we are inside of WordPress. We're going to add a new page. We're going to create an HTML block. All you got to do is the backslash custom HTML. And we got to go back to the cheat sheet. You got to grab this little piece of code for the iframe and you copy that in, copy that right in here. You grab the URL from Replit, copy that, paste that over the example URL and hit publish. Now let's view this page, see what we got. 
There it is, right on our website. With just a couple prompts, we've created a web app, we've deployed it on our WordPress website. So folks can now come to this website, enter in their uh, follower accounts from various dates, and then click this button and it will forecast that out just like I showed you previously. But you can create any kind of app that you want here. That's why the brainstorming phase is so important. Here's another example for a cooking website where I just said I want to create an interactive widget for a cooking website. It generated a bunch of different ideas and I was able to grab that same prompt, drop that right into Claude with my description and it's off to the races creating this simple web app for uh, measurement converting. But this time I was able to take it a step further. I simply asked it, what are additional enhancement ideas you have for this? And it generated a bunch of different enhancement ideas and automatically started implementing the first two of these, which was really cool because not only the converter that was working well, it created this recipe scaler. So you could enter in your entire recipe and tell it, I wanna make you know twice or three times the amount or half the amount of cookies which is typically what I need to be doing these days and it would scale it and in order to test it I simply asked hey can you create some simple sample data to test this recipe scaler it created a bunch of simple recipes and I'm able to drop those right in and say hey there's a simple recipe but I have family coming over I need to make three times as much and there it is the scaled up recipe so I just followed the same exact steps I copied this code created a new HTML replit. You can click this web view here to make sure it's working. So you can test it both in Claude and then in here. Then you deploy it. This one's already been deployed. So anytime you make changes, you need to redeploy it. Then I just grabbed this iframe code right out of the cheat sheet, copied and pasted that into uh, an HTML block inside of WordPress replace the URL from that link with the URL from replit. And here it is right on my website. We've got the converter there, we've got the recipe scaler. So these calculators, converters, interactive graphs can really add a lot of sparkle to your website, but you wanna make sure and share it with the world appropriately. So in the cheat sheet here, I have a ton of different uh, best practices for how to optimize the uh, page that you've built with these converters. I've also got some ideas for social sharing integration with these interactive widgets and you can of course use these uh, powerful AI tools to create uh, sharing functionality inside of your widgets. I've even be, been able to create some of these that are attached to databases and that are attached to large language models themselves. So imagine the different possibilities you can think up if you can attach these to both a database and a large language model on the back end all using Replit and WordPress. But the other thing I wanted to show you inside of this cheat sheet, there is a link to a custom GPT that automatically creates these for you. Let me show you how this works. All you gotta say is let's begin. I'm gonna say I have a website for karate. See what it comes up with. Here's some cool stuff. Karate belt age calculator, bar graph of belt levels. Really cool stuff here. And now it has created this karate belt age calculator. So I'm just gonna do the same thing and copy this code right into Replit. The one thing that's different about ChatGPT is you can't test it inside of ChatGPT that I know of. That's one advantage Claude has. Claude also, I believe, is a little bit better of a programmer. So if you're doing a lot of this stuff, you might wanna do this in Claude. And here you have, you can enter your birthday and it says if you're born in 2011, your average age would be a blue belt. Adding that custom HTML block here, just backslash HTML. And I'm copying and pasting this little code snippet out of the cheat sheet again. I'm copying and pasting this link from Replit right over top of that example link, publishing it, and there it is. So just in a matter of seconds, imagine if you spent just a couple hours creating something like this. You can really build some pretty impressive stuff if you start small and just build on top of it. There is a ton in the cheat sheet that I made for this video. I've had so much fun building these. In addition to what we've gone over, there are probably 10 times the amount of prompts and ideas, different ways to brainstorm and think through things, uh, making these simple enough that they actually work, but engaging enough that people actually uh, care to use them. Uh, in addition to that basic prompt we went through, there are more detailed coding prompts. 
There are all kinds of hosting and deployment ideas, different ways to integrate with WordPress, different ways to optimize the site. So getting it to brainstorm on SEO keywords, etc. There's a whole section here on analytics and performance. So uh, if you've got something out of this video, make sure to check out the Patreon options where you can get access to this cheat sheet and almost a hundred other cheat sheets all instantly for supporting me on Patreon. There's also some uh, coaching options in there as well. I really appreciate you joining me on this mission of helping people all over the world learn to use AI tools in a practical and actionable way. Uh, so many people that watch these videos are not yet subscribed to the channel. It's like 80% of the people watching are not subscribed. So please subscribe and I will see you on the next video.